<laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to Victorian Gardens Cattery and the toddler room at the Cattery where we have Iris and Perry Winkle's nursery. We have been delayed in getting photo, sh um, photo shoots and videos, so we'll try to make this a little bit longer video. This is Iris's little red chocolate boy. Yes, he's always talking. He, he wants his mommy's milk, she won't give it to him, which is good because he doesn't need it. Um, he's on, on the uh, Dr. Elsie's clean protein, but he he cries because he wants something else. But he's not getting anything else. He's a big boy. He's ten and a half weeks old, and when we weighed him at nine weeks old. He was right near three pounds, so he's over three pounds already. So he's he's a very short-bodied, cobby little boy. What you doing? You silly illy. You silly illy. See, I'm a silly illy boy. I'm a silly illy boy, and that's my name. That's my name, silly illy. Let me go get him a wand, because he loves these wands. We keep them up out of range. We have a new one for new litters. These are the, um, oh, <laughs> he jumped right in his water trying to get it. Uh, let's go somewhere else where he has some room to play. He loves this thing. This is the uh, DeBerb uh, Go, Go Cat um, Peacock Sparkler. They all like it. And he especially loves it. He, um, the moms play with him. He's since he's ten, and Periwinkle's babies are right here. They're adorable. Um, they like to play too. I haven't cleaned their eyes or their nose. I was for, forgot to do that before the video. But um, the mothers play with him because I don't want him eating their food, and that's what he would do. And he's a, he's a lot bigger than they are. I mean, he's already over three pounds. Uh, when he leaves here, he's going to be close to four pounds. He's still got um, two weeks, I believe. Uh, so yeah, he can leave on uh, Thanksgiving Day. So anyway, um, he tries playing with them through the fence. Uh, they were I just cleaned disinfected the small playstations and in the floor the mat floor and so that they could have a little bit bigger space they just got, these are periwinkle's babies there's periwinkle they just got their playstations these poor guys i think they're six weeks the five weeks old going on six and they have not had any playstations they've had toys but no playstations so we took our time today to get all that done before the video and anyway I will put a link to this peacock sparkler um, it's a big hit with all my cats all my kittens um, and even these little ones here love it they all play a little bit different with it but um, so they've got um, new playstations uh, they have their little bed back there that's just so cute it's like a unicorn and they sleep on the bed I don't know now that they have the playstations they might not sleep on the bed this little girl of periwinkles looks just like periwinkle in the face same eyes same face look how short her body is she is this, one of the shortest copiest kittens we have had I mean, really, and she is a character. Oh my goodness. She yesterday climbed the fence in order to play with Iris's boy. Yes, that's what she did yesterday. Um, the Calico girl is a little bit more cautious, not as, you know, crazy. You know, she takes things a lot, a lot easier uh, than this one. Nothing scares this one. <laughs> This one's all over the place all the time. Just an absolutely adorable, uh, beautiful little kitten. She's a bicolor Hemi seal point. I think she's a seal. I don't. I don't believe she's a blue. So I'm gonna. Um, I'll look check one more time on her paws. 
sometimes on bicolor hemis it's really hard to tell between a blue and a seal point. But I think she's a seal point, but I could be wrong. She could be a blue point. Um, it just depends if her paws have that bluish cast to it or not. This one doesn't actually play with it. She'll run and chase it, where this one will play with it. And of course, this one tears it up. <laughs> I wish they could play together, but it's the food issue that um, I'm keeping them apart, um, basically. Um, plus their, their size difference. So, and that calico is gorgeous. We're keeping her as a future breeder. We're very happy to have her. Her name is Victorian Gardens or G Gardens uh, California Poppy. <laughs> and the reason she's named after a California Poppy is she, she has the colors of a California Poppy. Plus, uh, one of our families in California suggests the name. Plus, I originally come from California. I moved out to North Carolina 15, almost 15 years ago. So um, she's a she's our first calico, and so we're very happy to have her. And Periwinkle makes very sweet babies. Uh, you can follow a lot of these babies on um, our Facebook page because uh, Periwinkle's babies because her, her mom their moms post. Um, either on their page or on our page. So, this little boy, he does. I'm sure he thinks that his name is, <laughs> his name is what I call him all the time. I don't have a name because we hadn't done pics yet. Um, and we will be starting pics right after the video gets posted and I do the email to the families. So I, know, I already know one family wants him, so he'll be gone. <laughs> he won't be staying here. Um, he's uh, Iris's last red chocolate from Willy Wonka, because Willy just got spayed, or neutered, excuse me, neutered um, a week and a half ago. So um, we don't know when we're going to have a red chocolate again. We will have them because we do have chocolates and we do have reds, so it just, um, we'll, we'll have to just wait and see when we'll have our next one. Yeah, there she goes, she wants to play with it. She plays different, she plays kind of, <laughs> I don't know if you can see them over there playing. She's the one, she keeps, um, the bicolor hammer keeps her tail up in the air. They, they, they are characters. Now, I've already seen this one climbing up onto the PlayStation. And I just gave him the PlayStation probably about 20 minutes ago. So, th she's feeling very comfortable with her new setup. And I think she is too, Puppy is too. a character and reds are always characters anyway so Poppy's a character too but this one oh my goodness she reminds me so much of her mommy she really does she looks just like she's got the big eyes of her mom her face looks just like her mommy almost got a video today, but I was in the midst of cleaning when Periwinkle was playing with Iris's red chocolate. It was cute. He, he was the aggressor. He was chasing after her. <laughs> so everything's going good. Holly had um, a very rare kitten. So she's up in the nursery with Cosmos and her two kittens. She had, um, Holly had a lilac cream, Persian. Beautiful baby, beautiful color. Um, we'll wait a little while so we don't disturb them uh, 
the two of them. But Holly's being a good mom, not cleaning the butt, but um, is feeding her, stays down, lets her nurse, um, you know, puts her arm around her, keeps her warm. So she's doing a good job. And um, Holly's going to be available after she um, raises her baby. Holly will be available for adoption. Holly is a chocolate torti torti point Himalayan. We love this little bed. We got that bed. Um, it's for a regular baby, but they sleep on it. And I thought, well, that would make a perfect pet bed. So we got this, um, I believe, at Home Goods. Uh, not too long ago, and these babies love it. <laughs> he has not figured out how to climb the fence, thank goodness. But she has. Look how tiny she is, and she can climb that fence. She's a character. <laughs> anyway, we are about to do our video on our vaccine protocol. So we'll either do it tonight or we'll do it tomorrow. Um, so we're getting in gear for that. We wanted to get this video out first so we could start pics on um, this little girl here, Periwinkle's little bicolor, and Iris's little red chocolate. And um, so we're gonna get the video loaded up today and then we'll start on um, our video on our vaccine protocol, which we think is very important, and we want everybody to know about it. Um, so if you're interested in <coughs> cutting down on the chances and risk of cancer in your kitten from vaccines, um, please stay tuned. Subscribe to our channel so you'll know when we post it um, on our channel. And we will take any um, thoughts on future videos, on how-to videos, if you have something in particular. The next one we'll do after the vaccine protocol is on diarrhea and loose stools and how we work with that in our cattery, the, su the supplies, the um, things that we use to help because we have baby kittens that go from nursing to dry food and wet food and you know sometimes their systems aren't ready for it and sometimes it takes time for their systems to adjust so we are um, going to do our tricks and tips for that and um, some of our recommendations so that will be after um, a video coming up we're almost to 10,000 subscribers which is a big milestone for us and that's probably um, that's one reason we're doing our vaccine protocol because we'll probably be at 10,000 subscribers in the next few days and that's a, a big thank you to everybody that's supporting our channel and um, one way to support um, our channel is uh, we put in the description box below the video links to some of the items that you're seeing like the Peacock Sparkler um, through our Cattery's Amazon affiliate. Our litter box video has tons of links and if you go through any of those, you don't have to purchase the items, but if you go through and anything you put in your cart after clicking on the link and checking out, um, the, the Cattery will get a small commission. It helps us to buy more toys, supplies for our kittens and cats, and um, just help support our Cattery uh, it's not an easy and inexpensive um, thing to do, breeding. It's very expensive. So um, our first eight years um, have basically been negative. <laughs> we haven't made a penny, not for one penny of my time. So it's getting a little bit better, but... I don't think most people would um, do the job I do and not get paid for it at all. <laughs> and that's what I've been doing, not getting paid for it. So um, it's a, a, a good way for us to, you know, to support us. It doesn't cost you anything. It's just if you're buying on Amazon already, just go through one of our links 
and um, purchase your supplies right through our links and Amazon gives our cattery a little small commission and it's very small but every little bit helps so anyway um, just check on our description section on most of our new videos and we will have that down um, in the description box one thing I do want to talk about is these tunnels please 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 only get cloth tunnels I know from personal experience that's a cloth tunnel there um, this is a cloth tunnel. They're very heavy tunnels. They're very thick tunnels. Don't get those vinyl tunnels, those plastic tunnels. What has happened uh, years ago is the wire poked through and poked an eye of one of my kittens. They're very, the vinyl ones are very thin uh, and they're very dangerous. So make sure you get really nice thick material ones. Um, I've been meaning to say that for a long time and I know from personal experience that that is really really important um, you don't want to cause harm to a kitten who's playing innocently and they run into one of those wires that might be accidentally sticking out if you have one of those tunnels where the wires are sticking out please get rid of it um, you don't want an accident where it's going to poke out an eye. Um, the kitten that had the accident, we were able to treat it, and the kitten did not lose its eyesight, but it scared me to death. So um, anyway, that's one of the best advice I can give on those tunnels. So we're going to, this is a long video, so we're going to be saying goodbye for now from Victorian Gardens Cattery, the toddler room with Periwinkle with Iris, with Iris' little red chocolate boy, and with Periwinkle's two little girls. Bye for now.